circles. E an isosceles triangle ABC in which AB equal to AC equal to 6 cm is inscribed in a circle of radius 9 cm. Find the area of the triangle. Okay, so we have to find the area of the triangle which is inscribed in a circle of radius 9 cm and that triangle is an isosceles triangle. So we have to find the area of the triangle. In order to find area of this triangle, we need to use the properties of circle and properties of triangles. Okay, let us have a figure at first. What is the figure? We need a circle with center O and the circle is of radius 9 cm and next we need a triangle and which is an isosceles triangle or side AB equal to AC equal to 6 cm. Okay. This is our isosceles triangle and this is our required figure that is a circle, inside a circle we have a triangle and which is isosceles. Then, how we are going to find the area of this triangle? It's a question. That is, in order to find the area of the triangle, we need two values. That is, one is an altitude and another is the base, the value of the base. That is, we have to find BC. And an altitude of it, this triangle to find the area of triangle ABC. That is, we need a base and we need the height or altitude of this triangle. For finding that, what we are taking is we are taking a point E on this triangle, and that point is the midpoint of this. Side BC. Okay, we are taking an E which is the midpoint of side BC. Okay, we are assuming that E is the midpoint of this base that is BC. Now, if E is the midpoint of BC and uh, we are joining a line from O to A which is the radius which is of length 9 cm. So here we have BE equal to CE. Now, since we take BE equal to CE, we can give a value of x centimeter to both. Then, now we are going to use a property of circle here. That is, a line from center to the midpoint of the core will bisect the circle perpendicularly. Okay, that is here we have the code which is E is the midpoint of that code and the line from center of circle to the midpoint of code will bisect the circle that we see at 90 degree. Okay, it is a perpendicular that means AO is a perpendicular bisect of BC. By using that theorem, we will get angle AEB equal to 90 degrees. Since we have the line from center of circle to the code to the midpoint of the code and that line equal to, that line will cut the code at right angle. Okay. So, we get AEB equal to 90 degrees. Now, what we get? We get a base BC and an altitude AE. So, we have to find these two values in order to find A of the circle. Okay. So, it is our task to find the value of BC and A. Now, we will take another two quantities here that is OC, OB. Both equal to 9 cm for purpose of our calculation. Okay, 
Before starting to our proof, let me explain why we draw this circle to the upper half of this circle. That is why we draw this sorry, why we draw this triangle to the upper half of this circle. Okay, why the triangle is not not on the middle part of the circle, or if why it is not covering more than the middle part of the circle. Why it is only at a smaller area of the circle is because since the circle's longest pole is the diameter, which is of length 18 centimeter. Okay, longest pole is diameter, which is of 18 centimeter. But this triangle have the side that is, these triangles are sides are four of the circle, and that side is lesser than half of the diameter that is which is lesser than 9 cm so we draw a smaller circle covering only a little part of area that is the, the pole's length is lesser than half of its diameter so it covers only a smaller part of the circle okay you can verify it by drawing a circle with a uh, with the radius 9 cm and this triangle Okay, so we, we need to find the edge of the triangle. Let us know what is edge of the triangle is. Edge of the triangle equal to half BH equal to AE into BC. So we have to find AE and BC in order to find the area. Okay, for that let us define our E at first. That is E is the midpoint of BC or let CE equal to BE. Then what we can say? Angle A E B equal to 90 degree. Okay. Angle A E B equal to 90 degree means A O bisect B C. A O is a perpendicular bisect of B C. That is, since A O E is the line joining center of the circle and pole. Or A O, o E is the line joining center of the circle and the midpoint of the pole. It will bisect the pole at 90 degree or at a right angle. So we can say angle A E B equal to 90 degree. Not, not all, sorry, not only A E B but A E C, O E C, O E B all are equal to 90 degree. Then we need to find A E and B C for that. Consider triangle B O E. Okay, we are going to consider the triangle BOE. In BOE, what is the OE square equal to BE square equal to 9 square? How? Since BOE is a right triangle with right angle at BEO, that is BOE is a right angle, right triangle, right angle at BEO, we can write by Pythagoras theorem, base square plus altitude square equal to hypotenuse square. What is hypotenuse here? The radius of so OE square plus BE square equal to 9 square. Similarly, we can take another triangle that is AEB. In AEB, AE square equal to BE square, eh, sorry, AE square plus BE square equal to a B square. What is A B square? Six in six square. Okay. So we get to write to write uh, to formulate by using our Pythagoras theorem. That is B square plus altitude square equal to hypotenuse square. In the next step, we are going to subtract this two. Then we will get that is O E square minus A E square equal to that is B square and B square get zero equal to 9 square minus 6 square. Okay. OE square minus AE square equal to 9 square minus 6 square. Then, in the next step, we will change this OE as AO minus that is OE is changed as AO minus AE. Okay. AO Deleting AE from AO, we will get OE. So, we change OE as AO minus AE. 
whole square minus a square equal to 81 minus 36 which equal to 45 since a equal to 9 centimeter. What we can write since a equal to 9 centimeter? Nine minus a e square minus a e square equal to forty five. That is eighty one minus thirty six is forty five. Now we will substitute a o as nine centimeter. Then we will get nine minus a e square minus a e square equal to forty five. On expansion we will get eighty one minus eighteen a e plus a e square minus a e square equal to 45. a minus a e square plus a e square will get cancelled. We will get 81 minus 18 a e equal to 45. We will take 45 to the left hand side. Then we will get 81 minus 45 equal to 18 a e. What is a e then? 81 minus 45 divided by 18. That is 81 minus 45 is 36. Then 36 by 18 will give 2 cm. So we get our AE as 2 cm. What is next to find? We have to find BC. Okay. Next we have to find BC. In order to find BC, what we are going to use here is that to find BC, since we know that BC is b e plus c that is x plus x 2 x so we have to find either c e or b e here to find the value of b c okay that is which is twice b e or c e is b c so we get a e as 2 centimeter using that we are going to find what is o e o e equal to a o minus a e okay that is a o minus a e equal to 9 minus 2 which is equal to 7 centimeter so we get OE as 7 centimeter then next what we have to find BE see we know that angle BEO is a right triangle with right angle let BEO and we got OE as 7 BOB as 9 but we can find BE from this and Pythagoras theorem is BC equal to BE plus CE which is equal to 2X. Now by using Pythagoras theorem we can write OE square plus BE square equal to 9 square which implies OE square is 7 square plus BE square equal to 9 square. What is BE square then? 9 square minus 7 square which is 81 minus 49 equal to 32. Okay. B E square equal to 32. What about B E? Square root of 32 which is equal to 4 root 2 centimeter. So we get X or B E as 4 root 2 centimeter. What about B C? 2 into B E. That is 2X. That is 8 root 2. Okay. So we get B C as 8 root 2 here. Then, next we have to find the area of the triangle. What is the area of the triangle? Half BH, that is half into AE into BC, that is half into AE into BC, which is equal to half into AE is 2 and BC is 8 root 2. On cancelling 2 and 1 by 2, we will get 8 root 2 centimeter square as our area of the triangle. Okay, so we find our area of the triangle. 